Hey, welcome to the Cool Guy Podcast Show. In this episode, I'm going to go over what I consider the best saltwater system in 2022 and probably moving forward into 2023 unless something new drops on the market and manufacturers don't usually release too many new products that often. So the salt cells I'm going over are going to be on the market, of course, going forward in the future. And they've been proven to be the best saltwater systems on the market today. Cool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro. If you listen to the other podcast I did about the best variable speed pool pump, one of the things that I emphasize is that you want to get the best salt system for your particular needs and so it's kind of hard to just to say one salt system is superior over all the rest because you may have a pool that has 50,000 gallons of water or you may have an existing system that you want to replace and so you have to take those things into consideration the particular salt system that you have currently and the size of your pool are factors in which salt system you should get and so if you have a really large pool let's say you have a 40,000 plus gallon pool or 45,000 gallon pool the two systems that I'm going to highlight here wouldn't necessarily work for you you'd have to go with a salt water generator that's rated for 60,000 gallons so I would suggest maybe the Pentair Intellichlor 60 or the Circa Pool RJ series and they have a 60,000 gallon salt system for that but if you have a regular size pool 30,000 gallons or less. These two salt systems I'm going to go over are probably ideal for you. And the reason why I say these two systems, even though there's one that I prefer over the other, these are both very good salt systems for you. And you would kind of have to decide personally which one you like better based on some of the features I'm going to touch on here. I'm not going to go over all the features. You can, of course, go to the manufacturer website to get more details about each system before you purchase it for your client or if you're looking for a salt system for yourself go there and look at the features but I think the two salt systems that I would lean towards recommending would be the Jandy True Clear system or the Pentair iClor 30 system and these are relatively new they've been on the market for maybe four or five years now so in that respect they still have really good technology And of course, they're always updating and improving the software on these systems. And since I'm pretty much a free agent, I can recommend certain things that maybe others can't if they're getting a sponsorship from one of these manufacturers. But I highly recommend you get the cell that's best for your needs. For example, if you have an existing Pentair and Telechlor system and it's getting old and you want to replace the cell on there, I would not recommend that you get a Jandy True Clear system because then you have to replumb everything, rewire the power unit there it would be just very simple and logical to upgrade your system to the Pentair iClor 30 salt cell you can buy the cell you will need the power center because it's compatible with the IntelliClor salt system you would just need the salt cell and also the retrofit union for that so that it'll fit into the same footprint as your iClor cell was at or in the plumbing and in the same respect, if you have a, if you're unfortunate enough to have a Jandy Aquapure salt system, the older ones were extremely unreliable. They were way over engineered with two circuit boards in the control panel. And if you had one of these cells or if you have one of these on your route, you're always getting error codes in these things. It's really frustrating and annoying. But if you do have a Jandy Aquapure cell on your system, you can, of course, get the True Clear. And the True Clear has a kit with the unions that retrofits an Aquapure salt system. I definitely would recommend going with the True Clear in that situation because then you don't have to worry about too much. You'd, of course, get a new power unit because it's not compatible with the Aquapure power, power unit, but you wouldn't have to replumb the cell, so that saves you a step. And I would say the True Clear is an excellent salt system anyway. You're not losing anything by going with that over the Pentair system. With that out of the way, 
if you don't have an existing salt system and remember those two retrofit into the IntelliClor and into the AquaPure plumbing of the pool. But if you don't have an existing system or if you have one, let's say you have a Hayward system, you don't really like that system and you want to upgrade to a different salt water system or if you're just wanting a brand new system, I would say the TrueClear would be the cell that I would lean towards or the system I would lean towards over the iClor 30. And it's not anything that Jandy does better than Pentair, so to speak. It's just that I think of the future of the salt water system and the future budget for a salt cell. And the one thing I don't like about the Pentair cell, and this is true with their IntelliClor cells, is that all the electronics is actually on the cell itself. So when you go to replace the cell after the lifespan, after you need to replace it, you have to replace the entire cell with the electronics in the cell, which raises the price of that salt cell up to a point where it's about double the price of a replacement for a true clear cell. So currently the iClor 30 cell retails for about $800 and the true clear cell retails for about $450. And of course, wholesale pricing is a little bit better in some situations, but basically it's double the price for the cell replacement when you need to replace that cell. I think that's a drawback and I think it's something that Pentair should have thought about when they engineered their cells. I'm always thinking that it would be really easy to make the cell with a detachable control panel on top. It shouldn't be that difficult in this day and age. But to replace the whole cell because the whole cell and basically the system because the cell went bad doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And I don't really like that particular model. So the true clear cell is basically just a pure cell and it just sits there and then once it, you need to replace it, you would just unscrew the old one and drop in the new one and plug it into the power unit and you're good to go. And since you're going to be replacing your salt cell down the road, the true clear model just makes a lot more sense. The other benefit or the other advantage that true clear has over the iClor 30 is that it's clear on top. So you can see the cell plates and you can see when you need to clean it. To me, I think that is something that Pentair, of course, should have implemented in the iClor 30. Something clear you can see that the cell is dirty without having to take the unions off and take the cell off to inspect it. Yes, there's a light on the cell that tells you when you have to clean it and it starts blinking. However, it's much easier just to visually see the cell when you need to and the TrueClear has that advantage. You can also see if the true clear is producing chlorine or working effectively. In that same window that you can see the cell plates, you can actually see bubbles being produced. If it's generating chlorine, you're going to see bubbles in that little window, and that indicates that the chlorine production is working. Whereas in the iClor 30, there's no way to see if the cell is producing chlorine or not visually. The maintenance on the true clear is also easier than the iClor 30. The difference is that the iClor 30 has unions, you guys unscrew them. Sometimes those can be really tight and difficult to get off and on without it leaking once you get it back on. Whereas the True Clear simply just unscrews from the top and there's no need to take the unions off. You just kind of pop that cell out, soak it in some acid and water mixture, and then pop it back in. So the maintenance on the True Clear definitely is better than the maintenance on the Pentair iClor 30. And I did mention that the iClor cell has the control panel on top. And it is a superior cell as far as the engineering of the programming or the control panel goes. You can actually set the output on the iClor 30 in percentage, 1% increments. So you can fine tune your chlorine output percentage a lot better on the iClor 30. That's an advantage, I think, in some cases where you have a smaller pool and you want to dial down the production to a certain level, whereas the True Clear only goes by 10% increments, which is not terrible, but of course you would get a longer cell life if you can really adjust that down perfectly. The other advantage the iClor has is it has a salinity meter built in, so it'll tell you the salt level of the pool, which I think for a lot of people that's a vital component that they need to know what the salt level in their pool is. And since the iClor 30 has a salinity meter, it'll tell you the salt level of that particular pool. Whereas the TrueClear, it's pretty basic. It has a power unit, 
it has a standby mode and you have the percentages but there's no way to tell how much salt is in the water because there's no salinity meter in the true clear cell so you'll need an outside meter to kind of measure the salt level in the pool not a deal breaker but it would be nice to have a salinity meter but i understand they wanted to keep things simple and jandy definitely wanted to make the true clear very reliable without any kind of error messages being displayed all the time and so the salinity meter was something they left off of the true clear cell and something that pentair actually has on the iClor 30 which is an upgrade if you have a intellicore cell and you're not you're not connected to automation there's no way to get the salinity level in those cells that are freestanding so it does make sense that the iClor 30 is a definite upgrade if you have an intellicore cell now you would want to get an iClor 30 versus getting another IntelliClor cell. Let me touch briefly on the size of these cells for the gallons of water of the pool. So the Jandy True Clear is rated for 35,000 gallons of water and the Pentair iClor 30 is rated for 30,000 gallons of water. So if you have a pool that's in the 20,000 gallon range or less, either of these cells would be perfect for you. Now they do make an iClor 15 and that's a rated for a 15,000 gallon or less pool. I wouldn't recommend that unit unless your pool is like really small, like 7,000 or 6,000 gallons of water. I would just go with the iClor 30 and you can dial it down because basically you're paying for a smaller cell and smaller production with the iClor 15. But if you get the iClor 30, you can of course keep it dialed down to a lower percentage and the cell will last a lot longer in a smaller pool. The Jandy True Clear is rated for 35,000 gallons and to me, I think it produces quite a lot of chlorine in most situations. If you have a 30,000 gallon pool, you may not want to go with either of these systems again. You might want to go with a bigger production because my rule of thumb is to always get a salt system that's about double the gallon capacity of your actual pool. So for a 30,000 gallon pool, you're right at that margin for both of these systems. And I would recommend a salt system that's rated for 60,000 gallons in your case. So when it comes to salt water systems, bigger is better in my opinion as far as the amount of gallons that it's rated for. For instance, I have a 15,000 gallon pool and I have the True Clear 35,000 gallon cell on my pool, which means that I have plenty of margin in case I need to super chlorinate it or if I'm running into a problem, I can boost up, boost up the production. Plus the cell will last a lot longer running at 40% production rather than 100% production. Regardless of that, I think the True Clear lifespan is shorter than the iClor cell lifespan, or a little bit shorter. I think every three to five years, you're going to be getting a new salt cell. Regardless of the system, unless you really have the output dialed down extremely low, the cell plates just wear out over time. And it's just one of those things where nothing lasts forever. And that's why I like the True Clear based on the fact that there's no electronics on the cell itself, and you would just drop in a new cell and save about half the cost of the Pentair cell, which has the electronics on top of the cell. As far as reliability, the True Clear is extremely reliable. And again, you can see the production by looking at the window when it's running to see if there's bubbles in there. The iClor 30 had a few issues when they first came out with the flow sensor. That's all been corrected. I would say the reliability of the iClor 30 is really good. And Pentair does make very reliable systems. So I wouldn't have any problem with you picking up an iClor 30 or the True Clear system as far as the reliability. Both manufacturers offer a three-year warranty on their product. This means that the manufacturer pretty much can guarantee you or knows that the salt system is going to last for at least three years without any issues. They don't want to be sending new salt systems out to people. And so three years is pretty standard for a warranty or a salt cell lifespan and after three years when you get into the fourth year or fifth year the salt cell may need to be replaced and that's not covered under the warranty but if you have a defect for example the true clear system has had some defects where the cord going into the top of the clear glass or clear plastic of the true clear would leak water and then they would just send you a replacement cell in that case and the iClor of course had a faulty flow sensor. I've had an iClor with a cracked cell plate inside there after six months and then Pentair will definitely send you out a new cell in that case. This is a problem with the unit itself. 
I think as far as reliability, again, you really can't go wrong if the manufacturer is giving you a three-year warranty on the product. That means that they stand behind the product and it's a well-made product. I can vouch for the systems on my route that these are really well-made salt systems. And there, of course, are a lot of other salt systems out there on the market that are also really good. The reason why I picked these two is because they're major brand models. Also, most people already have an Aquapure or an Intellichlor salt system installed, and these easily retrofit into those systems. You can look at the CMP salt system. It's really easy to clean also, no need to have any acid. comes with a plastic tool to clean that cell. That's also owned by Fluoridra now, or Jandy. And I also like the CircaPool salt systems, and they I think they believe they come with a seven-year limited warranty, which is a really good warranty for a smaller manufacturer salt system. So the CMP and the CircaPool also are cells you want to compare to compared to these two and I definitely would do my due diligence and compare the salt systems based on the reviews the reliability the size of your pool and your existing system to pick the right salt system for you to me the clear winner if you were just going to buy a salt water system and you wanted to install it there's no existing salt system at your pool I would say the Jandy True Clear would be the winner the new version also has the dual voltage ability so you can install it at 220 actually 240 volt or 120 volt breaker which is an advantage over the other systems the true clear cell really uses very little amps anyway to begin with it's really low voltage and you can connect it directly to an auxiliary on a variable speed pump if that variable speed pump has an auxiliary built directly into the back of the pump like the uh, jandy pumps also some hayward pumps have that the Leslie Jacuzzi pumps have the relay on the back, auxiliary relay that you can wire the salt system, the true clear system directly to the variable speed pump. And there's no need to wire it directly to the power source. You can use the variable speed pump to run the true clear system, which is an advantage also if you have a standalone variable speed pump with that auxiliary relay built into the back of the pump. The true clear really uses very low ampage and it's really easy to connect that to an existing variable speed pump. And I like the window on top so you can see if the cell plates are getting dirty. And I also like the ease of taking that cell out and cleaning it. So there's so, those advantages. But the biggest advantage is in the future when you need to replace that salt cell. It's going to be half the price of the Pentair iClor 30. And also maybe even less than a lot of the other cells that I mentioned. The CMP and the CircaPool cell. Based on just the overall design of that cell. It's pretty simple. And when you buy this replacement cell, it's just the top portion of it with these cell plates. And that's why it's such a low cost product. It's not the whole system you're buying or the whole electronics that you're buying when that goes out. And again, it's really tough to pick, you know, a certain drop dead best salt system because everyone has different needs. They have different pool sizes and they have different tolerance for technology. Some like to have the salinity level displayed. They like adjusting their salt system by 1% and the iClor 30 can do that. Others don't really care and they're more price conscious. And I think some people don't really care about the maintenance aspect of the salt system. Some care really about the maintenance aspect of it. So you have a, a gambit and a wide range of salt water systems to choose from. But to me, I just boil it down to systems that I use, systems that I'm aware of, and that's how I make my choices for myself, my clients. And of course, if you have a question about a saltwater system, you can email me at david at swimmingprolearning.com and I'd be happy to answer that for you and recommend the right system for your pool. And you can also listen to other podcasts I recorded by going to my website, swimmingprolearning.com on the banner, click on the podcast icon, and then a drop down menu of other podcasts I recorded will appear there. And of course, you can also learn more about my coaching program at pool, poolguycoaching.com. Thanks for listening to this podcast. Have a rest for a week. God bless. Pool Service Pro. Open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.